First ever meeting against that squad. Opening tip in the fifth all-time meeting between Clemson and the school out of Radford, Virginia. Last time they played back in the 2018-19 campaign. It was a tight game. Tigers eventually won by eight. Hall on the feed from Gerard, and there's an example. Radford's doing an outstanding job keeping the ball in front right now. Tigers can't touch the paint. First bucket of the night will go down for Giles after a bumpy start. They've been giant killers over the years. The year they came in here the last time in that 18-19 campaign, they had beaten Texas. There's Gerard with his first attempt of the night. Tigers build on the early advantage. Joe Gerard, his first attempt, a swish from downtown. And Joe Gerard doing early. what he does well. 38% beyond the arc. Smith with Gerard defending. Chandler Turner missed the runner moments ago and the BG transfer with a turnover. Chase Hunter pushing the pace. Gets the bounce. Tigers on offense, scoring better than 81 points a game. Godfrey backing in, that's where he lives. Right after a game, the first time he looks at a box score, he's gonna look at assists to field goals. A huge stat as Hunter loads up. Chase Hunter with a stroke from the corner. Without Alex Hemingway uh, and, and the staff feels like they need to get those two guys back healthy because they're going to need their shooting when they get into league play. Earlier in the year, it was R.J. Godfrey. They've got a lot of weapons offensively. Josh Beadle defending. Giles works inside. Turnaround. Swish. Wow. And Pierce came into the game averaging two blocks per game. He's already gotten those two in the first eight minutes. Giles has all seven of their points. Now he's got all nine. Increase as the season's gone along. Junior college transfer for them. Giles over Gerard that time. He's on his own scoring run. Just like that, Highlanders back within five. And I think that's a 9-0 run right now. And as you said, Kenyon Giles, I think, has all 12. Tigers were trying to deny the catch, but he came off of that pin down, was able to get any space. Gerard loves the transition game and the pull-up, too. Look at the work inside. Wiggins, I should say Godfrey at 6-7. Trenton Walters, freshman out of Frisco, Texas, just checked in. He gave it away to Smith, who gets the attention of Chase Hunter. Smith looking for his first points of the night. Off the 18 against the Mountaineers. Gerard defending. Walters forces. Shefflin to Gerard. To Hunter. He wanted to throw it down. He'll settle for the layup. Uh, the league is off to a great start. So what that means is when the league plays each other in January, February, March, it helps the league. Hunter to Hall. Turnaround. P.J. Hall on his way to another one of those 20-point games. 9-0 run for Clemson, which had a 13-0 run earlier in this half. Giles, again off balance, took a victory lap as he fired over Hunter for this Radford team. But a very good job by Chauncey Wiggins using his length and making Giles score over the top of him. And one for Joe Girard. He was known as just a catch-and-shoot guy, but he is outstanding off the bounce. For several of these Radford shooters, other than Giles. Gerard for three. You think of him, you mentioned the pick and roll, but this is what I think of it. I think of Joe Gerard. That right there, downtown. Yeah. One of the few stops they've gotten, though, over the past several minutes. Turner and the Bowling Green transfer. Able to knock one down from the outside. That was at North Carolina. In the first contest of the year, Gerard is feeling it. Great pass right here. Ball goes inside. They're moving it. Ian Shefflin kicks it out. Terrific pass by Shefflin. The shot clock. Smith on the wing. He just realized he's coming up on two, then one, and he forced the three over Dylan Hunter. Five to go in the half. Chase Hunter. Crossover. Kick to his brother. Fitting end to the opening half. One Brady. Hunter to another. Finds Dylan on the perimeter. Dylan Hunter knocks it down, and that's a big shot for the young Tiger. They need those sophomore guards to be able to make threes. Hall in transition. Around Turner, goes under the defender. Pierce, and one. As we talked about, staff didn't feel quite like they guarded as well in the second half against Queens as they would have liked. Harris reaching in, almost took that one away. Dylan Hunter, Wiggins from the free throw line. He loves the mid-range game. Hunter 
having one of his better scoring nights, goes over top of Harris. He's done a really good job of getting deep post position. You've seen him sh uh, score to his jump hook a couple of times. He's really grown this season. To beat the shot clock out in front. We'll go down for Trenton Walters. And our producer couldn't stop talking about it throughout the day about the quad one win opportunities ahead. It'll be tough at Miami, home against North Carolina at Virginia Tech. Hasn't been tough for Josh Beadle. His body changed so much this past summer. Uh, they wanted him to get stronger so that he could score it better at the paint, be a better offensive rebounder. We've seen that in both of these last two possessions. Good effort all around. Loading up from the outside and getting it to fall. Very tough game. And the Tigers did what they needed to do in the non-conference. Uh, anyone that would have signed up for this record right now, going into January, going into next Wednesday at Miami, would have done it in a heartbeat.